Okay, welcome to Managing Marriage Mini, uh, Lesson 8. This is the final study, or the final summary, I guess. And uh, we looked at a lot of different things. We looked at the three words for love, the Greek words. We talked about roles and responsibilities of the husband, roles and responsibilities of the wife. We talked about finances. We talked about taming the tongue. And now today in lesson eight, I'd like to talk to you about faithfulness, about faithfulness. It's not how you start the race, it's how you finish. In fact, it's if you can finish. One of the things uh, that we look forward to one day in standing before the Lord in heaven is him saying, well done, good and faithful servant. To be able to know without a shadow of doubt that we've been faithful in the little things, we've been faithful in what Christ has placed in our possession, our relationships, our kids, and, and, and especially our marriage. Our marriage is on the line. And so, you know, faithfulness is something we should practice now. You know, be faithful in your relationship. Be faithful to, to love your person that you're... Uh, either going to be married to or you are married to be faithful to uh, be committed to that relationship and stay stay committed to the love relationship um, be faithful in the fact that God brought you two together and know that he's the one that is able to keep you together if he brought you together then he will be able to keep you together as well and so I encourage you to be faithful be faithful to your wife if you're a husband be faithful to her you know don't don't put anything else above her and don't let selfishness kill the relationship um, same thing with you wives be faithful to your husband you know, you know what the roles and responsibilities are. You know, the husband is to love his wife as Christ loves the church. Uh, the wife is to uh, respect the husband or submit to him in that relationship. And so stay faithful in that. Um, it, it will come to a point years down the road where you're going to have to make that choice each and every day. In fact, the longer that you're married... Uh, the, the more the more that you have to work at it, right? Because things change, times change, children change the relationship. Our health changes the relationship. Um, there are many challenges that will come our way, but if we put Christ first, right? Jesus said, seek first the kingdom of God and all these things shall be added unto you. If Christ is first in the relationship, then you got nothing to worry about. So I hope that you've got some value out of this little mini-series. And uh, Managing Marriage is an eight-week um, eight study. Uh, it has uh, study guides. It has homework assignments. Um, and you really get what you put into it out of it. Um, if you do the, the study, the full study and you don't look up the verses, you don't take notes, you don't think through the questions, you're not going to get much out of it. But if you will commit yourself to this study, and if you will kind of sign your name on the dotted line, you're going to get more out of this. And so this is a powerful study. Uh, uh, many couples have gone through this. Uh, many of the couples, well, every couple that I've ever married has gone through this study because this is the requirement for uh, the wedding to go through the study. And I think it's way more important to invest in premarital counseling than the actual wedding day. A lot of people focus so much on the wedding day, but they don't focus on the future marriage. So this is a way where we can invest in the actual marriage. So take this course, okay? Sign up for it. And, uh, and it'll bless your life, okay? God bless you. Take care. Have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.